What's going on everyone? Sorry a few days late for the Extreme Rules results, but I didn't think I was going to have time to do this today, but I'm going to quick plug something in for Extreme Rules. I'm just going to run down who won the matches. I'm not going to really go into great detail because you have other podcasts for that. There is some a lot of confusing stuff happening, and here's a little clip. I have to. I love this. That's probably what we're going to think you have to watch and roll tonight, because apparently there's no script. Sorry, I, d I just love that laugh. But in any case, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run down the winners and losers, and of course, yours truly, Dolph Ziggler, was another loser, as I posted on Twitter uh, last night. I'm like, oh, looks like he's going to lose again. So, and that's what happened. <laughs> but here we go. Let's get the sound going. Alright, let's get to these results. So, it looks like The Fiend won the Swamp Fight, I think. Though, you guys think it sure looked like it. So, I don't know what the fuck that was. And you Hold on, guys. Thousand times how long it's gonna take? Oh, well, stupid ad. Something. I hate these fucking things. Here we go, we should be alright now. I'm trying to improvise so there's no dead silence. There we go. But yeah, I really enjoyed this swamp fight. I mean, it had some cool elements in it. Yeah, we didn't see like animals and shit like that. It was just more like flash clips and things. But I thought it was interesting how they did this. And I love the Friday the 13th ending on that. I just thought that was so cool. And I couldn't have been happier to see that. I'm like, oh, that's pretty badass. And that's why I commented that. Not because of the action itself, but I appreciated the way that ended. So, looks like, obviously, the Fiend won that. And then we got your loser, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Where uh, Drew McIntyre won with the fame one. Here I am saying I'm not going to go into play-by-play. -play. I better stop while I'm ahead. So what do we got after that? Drew beat Dolph, obviously we knew that was happening. Oscar versus Sasha Banks. I did not understand what the fuck happened at the end. Yes, it was a super fun match, but Bailey putting the referee shirt on and awarding her the Raw Women's title. A lot of people in line were like, what the fuck just happened? WWE booking, obviously, because they don't prepare for shit. And they don't way in the aspect of how the fans are going to feel about this. Oh, let's just throw this together. Fuck them. So, let's see. Seth Rollins takes out Rey Mysterio's eye. Um, I didn't see anything come out of there. I don't know if you guys saw anything come out. When he removed his mask, it looked like a fake eye. And then they said, oh, it's out, oh, it's out, oh my god, it's out, it's out. Um, I don't think so. It was a fun match until that happened. So... I was a little confused about that, and Seth's puking, that was obviously Vince. Apollo Crews can't compete against MVP, so MVP still thinks he's the United States Champion, obviously, so they didn't really do anything with that. Bailey beat Nikki Cross, we knew that was going to happen. A lot of cross bodies in this match. I really didn't understand why she, Nikki Cross was doing so many, but I don't know, that match didn't really do anything for me. But one thing I was happy to see was Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro won the tag team titles. But this also brings the question of are they going to go back and forth between who has the titles and make them even more meaningless than they already are? I think that's what's going to happen and that's what's going down the line. And then on the kickoff show, Kevin Owens pins Murphy with a stunner in a short match. So that's pretty much it. Thank God Extreme Rules was only two and a half hours where I would have been like, I am not staying up for this. And I don't know how many of you are planning on staying up to see Randy Orton versus the Big Show. Fuck that shit. As soon as I get bored raw, I'm going to bed. I can just go to JD from NY206 and get that. But anyways, those are the results. A lot of weird shit that happened. I did like the Swamp Fight. That's what I was looking forward to the most. Even though it wasn't really a fight, it was just a story of all bronze spheres and 
you know, the fiend bringing them all out. And they had that Friday the 13th ending. So, I mean, for a horror show, I guess it fit the, fit the title. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe down below. I know some people watch my videos, but a lot still haven't subscribed yet. I'd really, really appreciate it. It does help uh, YouTube see that my channel is important. And I would like to continue to do this more and provide more content for you guys. Also, leave a like down below to show that this is an important video for people to see. Anything you guys do, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. At least shows that somebody's watching it. So I really appreciate it and hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you back here probably Tuesday or Wednesday for your Monday Night Raw results. Because obviously we don't have to watch the show to know what happened. Being part of the fucking internet. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. See you for all tonight on Twitter. And until uh, the next video, talk to you later.